Hey guys, so I've been, I've been on this bike ride right now and I'm cru cruising down the street. See the street behind me? Let's see, there it is. You know, it's a street to nothing. It's like some new home development they're gonna build in here. And I'm cruising down this street. There's not a person out here. Out here in the middle of the Arizona desert. And a had thought came to me. Cause I was thinking about about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer, and I was having some some joint pain. Probably, yeah, probably about it. I'd say probably about a year and a half ago, maybe two years. Okay, so I had this joint pain because I used to be very, very active. I used to go running all the time. I used to, um, uh, you know, I've always lifted weights pretty much. I've always that's always been like a normal regimen of mine. But uh, I was more into the cardio. Um, portion of it and uh, the endurance and stuff too which I kind of got out of because of the ankle injury that I sustained years back and then it came and haunted me with the arthritis a couple years ago but the thought that came to me was that it was if you if you don't use it you lose it and why do I say that because the bottom line is this if you watch some people that are in their Let's say people that are in their 40s, people that are in their 50s, um, you know, people in their 60s, people in their 70s, people in their 80s, okay? You can, if you look around, some of them, they're in like this great shape, and you're like, man, the, the guys, ride, you know, or you see them where they ride bikes, or they run still, and they do things like that, but then you see other people, and, you're, and they're, they're overweight, and they just don't look like they're doing that well. And it could be because they've got this arthritis or, or, you know, they sustained some injuries or something like that. The point I'm making here is that you have to find alternatives to, um, to your injuries. And if you don't continue to strengthen your, um, your muscles around those joints and you do nothing, you are going to lose the little bit that you still have, and eventually you won't, um, it'll, it would be such a mountain to climb just to try and get into any kind of physical activity. So if you're already in that situation and you feel like it's a mountain right now, I promise you, I've had the mountain before me, and if you take a little chunk, just a tiny, tiny bit a day sorry this arm's getting sore if you take a tiny chunk a day um look at the sunset back here too look at, look at let's see if you can get a good oh sun there you are son anyways it's just pretty out here my hair's all messed up because i'm wearing my helmet see my helmet anyways the point that i was making Take that little step every day, get out, do something, okay? If it's, no matter how small it is, it's this big step, get out. If it's in your living room and you're like, you know what, I think I just wanna do some air squats right here in my living room. And even if you can't even go all the way down, you can only go a quarter of the way down, eventually you will get better and better at it and you will feel better and better. But if you do nothing, you're gonna feel worse and you're gonna lose a little bit that you have, okay? So just a thought, oh, drop my helmet. There's my bike. I'm standing in the middle of the road, right here in this really, really out in the middle of nowhere road. And it's really, it's actually kind of surreal because I'm cruising through these neighborhoods of these track homes. And like there are probably about 40 homes in this one neighborhood. And there, and literally two, maybe three of the houses were occupied. Actually I had somebody in them. And then I'm walking, I'm driving through all of these um neighborhoods and there's all these houses being built and a lot of them are like almost finished or they are finished and stuff but there's nobody in them because it's just a new development so all these people that were looking to possibly close on their house probably uh maybe being held up at the bank or maybe they're on furlough or who knows what's going on i feel really bad for those people that are going through this time right now and you know but remember one thing there's usually a silver lining in everything and the blessing. You may not see it right up front,
But usually, if you look back on things in your life and you think, you know what, had, I thought that was the worst thing that ever happened to me, but come to find out, had I not done this and this and learned from this or whatever, or even done this and went down this road, I would have been in a way worse situation. So there is a silver lining. Look at the positive in everything. Don't look at the negative, okay? But anyways, get out there and do it. Get out there and do something. Do something that makes you feel good. Do something you've been wanting to do. Um, you know, enjoy the weather, enjoy the outdoors. I mean, I'm just enjoying cruising through these empty neighborhoods and seeing these houses that are almost done with nobody out here. It's almost like I'm in a, a sci-fi movie. Uh, it's like that movie, I Am Legend, where he's cruising down New York City and there's nobody there. And he's like the only guy there and stuff. That's what it feels like out here. It's kind of cool. It's kind of surreal. But it's, uh, it's peaceful. So... All right. See you guys. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your family. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Bye.